वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द लेसन रिप्रोडक्शन इन लोअर एंड हायर एनिमल्स वी हैड स्टडीड डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन एंड द लास्टली वी हैड स्टडीड अबाउट गैमेटोजेनेसिस और फॉर्मेशन ऑफ गैमेट्स इन दैट वी हैड ऑल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट स्पमेटोजेनेसिस ओजेनेसिस एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्पम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन और प्रोसेस ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन as we have studied in the earlier standard fertilization is nothing but union of male and female gametes it gives rise to diploid zygote so when haploid and uh, haploid male and female gametes unite they give rise to diploid zygote here you can see in the picture process of fertilization you can see how the sperm enters into the egg and after entering into the egg male and female pronucleus unite and the union of male and female pronuclei it gives rise to zygote so that zygote is diploid mechanism of fertilization movement of sperm towards egg acrosome membrane acrosome is nothing but it is present in the head of the uh, sperm in that acrosome there is a enzyme present that is called as hyaluronidase enzyme so acrosome membrane becomes thin sperms move towards oviduct that is towards the fallopian tube prostaglandin activates the sperm now prostaglandin is nothing but the secretion of the prostate gland sperms reach to the ampulla ampulla is a part of the fallopian tube or to the of the oviduct then the next is entry of sperm towards egg only few hundred sperms reach the ampulla and only single sperm fertilizes the egg acrosome release hyaluronidase enzyme as the sperm head touch the zona pellucida its acrosome covering ruptures lytic enzymes like acrosin and zona lysin a small fertilization cone is formed sperm nucleus and centrioles enter the egg and here polyspermy is prevented polyspermy means entry of many sperm in the egg is prevented so sping, single sperm it unites or single sperm uh, it becomes successful in the uh, entry of the egg activation of ovum meiosis 2 is completed second polar body is released fusion of male and female pronuclei takes place chromosomal pairing is done this is called syngamy or amphimixis here chromosomes of male and female are combined and therefore called as amphimixis you can see here in the nearby picture how that single sperm enters into the egg and only female and male pronuclei they are combined significance of fertilization very important topic secondary oocyte completes the process of oogenesis and therefore it is transformed into a matured ovum the diploid chromosome number is restored in zygote by the process of syngamy so when haploid gametes unite they give rise to diploid zygote the ovum lacks the centrioles necessary for further divisions are received from the sperm during fertilization next is fertilization involves fusion of male and female gametes from two parents it results in variation which are significant to evolution so though uh, since it is a sexual reproduction it is a fertilization it involves union of male and female gamete 
सो यू नो दैट देर आर फीचर्स ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल्स आर कम्बाइंड और मिक्सड एंड वी कैन सी द वेरिएशन द नेक्स्ट इज सेक्स ऑफ ऑफ स्प्रिंग इज डिटमाइन एम्ब्रियोनिक डेवलपमेंट इमीजिएटली आफ्टर फर्टिलाइजेशन यू कैन सी हियर विद इन ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन आवर्स ब्लास्टोमियर इज प्रेजेंट द सेल्स फॉर्म बाइक क्लीवेज आर कॉल्ड ब्लास्टोमियर्स सो हियर इन द फर्स्ट पिक्चर यू कैन सी ब्लास्टोमियर इन पिक्चर ए दैट स्टेज इज कॉल्ड एज टू सेल स्टेज देन इन बी डायग्राम और इन बी फोटो फोर सेल स्टेज इज फॉर्म विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर टू थर्टी आवर्स देन आफ्टर दैट इन सी पिक्चर इन सी इमेज यू कैन सी एट सेल स्टेज इज कॉल्ड एंड दैट एट सेल स्टेज इज कॉल्ड एज क्लीवेज देन इन डी पिक्चर यू कैन सी दिस पिक्चर इज कॉल्ड एज मॉर्यूला आफ्टर मॉर्यूला इन ई ब्लास्टोसिस्ट इज फॉर्म ब्लास्टोसिस्ट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ब्लास्ट्यूला विथ इनर सेल मास ऑल द सिमिलर लुकिंग सेल्स कॉल्ड एज स्टेम सेल्स दे आर गैदरिंग टूवर्ड्स द पेरीफेरी एंड द लेयर अराउंड इट इज कॉल्ड एज ट्रोफोब्लास्ट सो ट्रोफोब्लास्ट इट इज अ फूड लेयर इट सक्स यूटराइन मिल्क फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ नरिशिंग फॉर द नरिशमेंट ऑफ डेवलपिंग एम्ब्रियो सो हियर यू कैन सी अर्ली ब्लास्टोसिस्ट एंड लेट ब्लास्टोसिस्ट सो लेट ब्लास्टोसिस्ट इज नथिंग बट कंप्लीट ब्लास्ट्यूला सो इन ब्लास्टुलेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मल्टी सेल्युलर ब्लास्टोसिस्ट Outer food layer, as we have discussed, is called trophoblast. Inner, larger cells are called as inner cell mass. Trophoblast cells, in contact with embryonal knob, are cells of rubber. Very important. By the end of seventh day, blastocyst is fully developed or fully formed, and it is implanted in the endometrium of the uterus. implantation after seventh day blastula gets implanted into endometrium of uterus rapid division of trophoblast cells take place two distinct layers are formed outer outer layer is called syncytotrophoblast and inner layer is called as cytotrophoblast by the end of 10th day implantation process is completed gastrulation it is a process of formation of gastrula from the blastula or from the blastocyst there are two stages in the blastula or in the gastrulation that is differentiation of blastomere and then morphogenetic movements in differentiation of blastomeres it results in the formation of three germinal layers that is ectoderm mesoderm endoderm last year we had studied about uh, triploblastic living organisms they are having ectoderm mesoderm endoderm that is three uh, germ layers three germinal layers and then in the next level that is morphogenetic movements these are different types of movements to reach their definite place in the embryo this is a fate of germinal layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm here you can see ectoderm gives rise to epidermis of skin hair nails sweat glands salivary glands mammary glands sebaceous glands cornea lens retina nasal epithelium teeth internal and external ear hindgut foregut adrenal medulla anterior and posterior pituitary gland pineal gland and entire nervous system then 
mesoderm it gives rise to muscles connective tissues dermis of skin adrenal cortex medulla is formed by ectoderm and cortex is formed by mesoderm heart blood blood vessels lymphatic vessels middle ear dentin of teeth urinary and reproductive ducts gonads kidneys choroid of eye and sclera of eye endoderm it forms epithelium of mid gut glands of stomach and intestine tongue tonsils lungs trachea bronchi larynx urinary bladder vagina liver pancreas thyroid gland parathyroid gland thymus gland eustachian tube epithelium of urethra and lining of middle ear you just go through the table it may come to answer in one sentence or uh, fill in the blanks pregnancy or also called as gestation the entire period of pregnancy is from day of fertilization to 280 days it has three trimesters in the first trimester you can just see in the picture first trimester is 1 2 and 3 up to 3 months it is a time of most radical changes in mother and embryo the embryo receives nutrients from the endometrium directly it is a main period of organogenesis by the end of 8 weeks the major structures found in the adult are formed in the embryo the embryo is now called as fetus it is about 3 cm long arms hands fingers feet toes are formed fetus can open and close mouth and feast also central nervous system is fully formed working of excretory and circulatory system begins movement of fetus begins but mother cannot feel it because it is present in the amniotic fluid progesterone level increases progesterone level becomes high menstrual cycle is suspended till the end of pregnancy second trimester it starts from 13th to 26th week that is 3 4 5 and 6 up to 6 months that is second trimester it is a period of rapid growth of fetus the uterus grows enough for the pregnancy to become obvious the fetus is very active and grows to about 30 cm development of brain begins hormone level stabilizes as human chorionic gonadotropin declines and progesterone rises 18 to 20 weeks shows baby's growth and position in the ultrasound so here baby reaches half the size of the newborn third trimester it starts from 27th week till the parturition the fetus grows about 3 to 4 kg in weight and the length is 50 cm eyes are open there is gain in the body weight as the fetus grows the uterus expands around it the mother's abdominal organs become compressed and displaced leading to frequent urination digestive blockages and strain in the back muscles at the end of third trimester the fetus becomes fully developed and ready for parturition parturition means birth placenta it is a temporary organ formed of tissues of two different individuals that is mother and fetus it supplies oxygen and nutrients from mother to fetus it is also called hemochorial it works as endocrine gland to produce hormone like human chorionic gonadotropin progesterone and estrogen you can see here 
this placenta it covers the baby the nourishment of the uh, baby is carried out through this placenta only and the umbilical cord is connected to the umbilical cord of the mother parturition parturition is nothing but birth it is a process of giving birth to a baby it involves three stages or three steps dilation stage uterine contraction begin from top forcing the baby towards the cervix uterine contraction is induced due to oxytocin oxytocin is a one hormone which is released by pituitary gland or adenohypophysis of the pituitary gland which is stored in the neurohypophysis we had already studied in the uh, control and coordination lesson cervix gets dilated amniotic membrane of fetus ruptures second stage is expulsion stage the fetus passes out through cervix and vagina the umbilical cord is tied and cut the third stage is after birth placenta is expelled out in this after birth stage you can go through this picture stage 1 this in this uh, stage 1 has two stages two phases initial phase and active phase in initial phase that is also called as latent phase and then there is a active phase contraction of cervical muscles take place then here in the stage 2 okay and then stage 3 stage 3 is nothing but uh, expelled placenta is expelled out lactation mammary glands of female produce milk due to prolactin hormone colostrum it is a fluid secreted by mammary glands soon after the birth so colostrum is very important because it contains protein lactose and mother's antibodies to find or uh, to fight against the pathogens or diseases because of this colostrum baby uh, babies they newborn babies they develop immunity power or resistance power the next is reproductive health it is total well being in all aspects of reproduction goals of reproductive and child health care programs to create awareness among people about various aspects related to reproduction to provide the facilities to people to understand and build up reproductive health to provide support for building up a reproductively healthy society to bring about a change mainly in three critical health issues that is reducing total infertility rate nowadays you know that infertility issue is increasing day by day then infant mortality rate and maternal mortality rate so in rural areas this mortality rate is very high so to reduce this infant and maternal mortality rate uh, this rch program is working the next is birth control the birth control measures which prevent fertilization are referred to as contraceptives contraceptive methods are of two types temporary and permanent now in temporary method natural method or safe period that is a week before and after menstrual bleeding that is a safe period for intercourse then coitus interruptus or withdrawal withdrawal of the uh, penis before ejaculation in the female reproductive tract then lactational amenorrhea that is absence of menstruation after soon after delivery or during the uh, lactation period during breastfeeding period 
there is a absence of menstruation takes place and in this period uh, pregnancy cannot be take place chemical means foams tablets jellies creams are introduced in the vagina so that sperms are killed in the vagina itself the next is mechanical means condom diaphragm intra uterine device like like copper tea then uh, next is oral devices oral devices there are some pills and jellies like uh, you must have heard about the advertise of maladi and then other contraceptives are also involved in this birth control so you just go through the topic from uh, textbook then in permanent method vasectomy and tubectomy here vas difference is cut and tied to prevent the entry of sperm in the female reproductive tract and in tubectomy tubes or oviduct fallopian tubes are cut and tied to avoid entry of sperm in the uh, in the fallopian tube or in the site of fertilization mtp or medical termination of pregnancy mtp is essential in case of unwanted pregnancies or in defective development of fetus it is safe only during the first trimester of pregnancy the defect is examined by amniocentesis so you can see this picture it shows amniocentesis process in this process amniotic fluid containing fetal cells is collected using a hollow needle inserted into the uterus under ultrasound guidance the chromosomes are studied to see the abnormalities only and not to check the sex of the fetus but nowadays this amniocentesis is banned because of the female feticide studies sexually transmitted diseases there are two major types of stds that is syphilis and gonorrhea causative agent of syphilis is trypanosoma pallidum that is a one bacteria and even gonorrhea also is bacteria that is neisseria gonorrhoe incubation period of syphilis is 3 to 4 weeks infection site is mucous membrane in genital rectal and oral region there are various symptoms given in the uh, chart given on page number 43 just go through you can see primary lesion called chans chanker at the site of infection it is formed on external genitalia skin rashes and mild fever inflamed joints loss of hair paralysis also may occur mild heart and brain attacks also may take place preventive measure is education about sex practices sex hygiene avoiding sex with unknown partner or multi partner using condom during coitus treatment is antibiotics it is 100 it can be cured 100% gonorrhea incubation period is in male it is 2 to 14 days in female it is 7 to 21 days incubation site is again urogenital tract rectum throat and eye symptoms in male are partial blockage of urethra reproductive ducts pus from penis pain and burning sensation during urination arthritis in female pelvic inflammation of urinary tract sterility arthritis etc you just go through the chart given in the textbook then there are some preventive measures like sex hygiene using condom during coitus avoiding sex with unknown partner or multi partner is avoided it can be treated with antibiotic there are various issues of infertility you know that infertility is defined as the inability to conceive naturally 
after one or various years uh, of intercourse the causes of infertility could be physical congenital uh, some diseases or immunological or even physiological disorders nowadays you know that issues regarding infertility are increasing day by day there are various techniques which can prevent infertility like ivf in vitro fertilization it is a process of fertilization where an egg is combined with sperm outside the body in the test tube the zygote is formed and then that zygote or early embryo it is inserted in the fallopian tube of the mother the next is zygote intra fallopian transfer you can see here in the picture it is an infertility treatment used when there is a blockage in the fallopian tubes which prevents the fertilization of egg by the sperm naturally in this method egg is removed from the woman's ovary fertilization of the egg with sperm is brought about outside the body under sterile condition to form zygote by the process of again ivf and then the zygote is transferred in the fallopian tube for further development the next is gamete intra fallopian transfer transfer of ovum collected from a donor into the fallopian tube of another female who can provide suitable environment for its fertilization and development this technique is called gift or gamete intra fallopian transfer technique has been developed for the cases in which only the entrance to the oviduct or the upper segment of oviduct is blocked in this process ova and sperm are directly injected into regions of the oviduct that is in the infundibulum where fertilization takes place then xc intra cytoplasmic sperm injection there is little difference in xy and in vitro fertilization in xy sperm is directly injected into the cytoplasm of the egg so it is a one type of in vitro fertilization it is a modified uh, ivf technique in which sperm has to naturally penetrate the egg then iui intra uterine insemination in this technique uh, here in this semen is injected in the uh, uterus uterus or in the uh, female reproductive tract artificially sperm bank sperm bank or semen bank is a place which collects stores provides human sperm or semen the semen is provided by healthy males called sperm donor you must have seen the picture wiki donor okay in that uh, that uh, khurana he donates his sperm the sperm are stored in sperm bank by cryopreservation method at very low temperature the last option is adoption adoption is a legal process by which a couple or a single parent gets legal rights privilege and responsibilities that are associated to biological child for the upbringing of the adopted child i hope that you must have understood the lesson if you have any doubt we'll discuss in the class thank you and have a nice day